Hi guys, it's me Tanya, and uh, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. I just wanted to update you guys from yesterday. Uh, I did get stuck in the car here. Uh, found out that I've I have a new disease to add to my collection of illnesses here. Well, diseases, as you say. Um, it's uh, the inflammation of chest wall and esophagus area. Um, as you can see, this swollen spot right here, I guess this might be part of it. Um, they couldn't really tell me. Um, they just ruled out heart attack from last night. Um, I did go to the ER and let me tell you something. I went to Comanche Memorial Hospital in Lawton, Oklahoma. Do not go there. They treat you terribly. I went in with chest pains and they had me sitting in the, in the lobby for over 30 minutes saying that I never told them, but I filled out the form that says chest pains or I can't remember. Anyway, you get my drift. I went to the nurse that was there and she's like, oh, well, you don't look sick and your vitals were fine. Do you want me to run an EKG? Um, if you think that I looked fine and you didn't care about the form I filled out, I'm not staying here. I ripped my bracelet off and out the door I went. I went to Southwestern Medical Center where they made a code purple, had five or six people working on me at once, got me in within five minutes, didn't ask questions, did everything they were supposed to do by the book, and this doctor that I had was amazing. Let me tell you, he went so deep in thorough investigation as to why I was in pain, and because I had lupus and fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis, he went into more detail in investigating why I was in pain since I was ruled out at the time for no heart attack or stroke. Um, let me get his name for you. This doctor was amazing. His name was, oh well, I'll spell it for you, A-B-D-A-L-L-A-H, Abadala Hussan. Um, amazing doctor. Uh, come to find out, I was diagnosed with uh, costochronitis. And, um, I guess it, like it says, is that it, um, inflammation of my chest wall, um, let me see what they say on this thing. It says, uh, it causes pain and discomfort felt in the chest, um, uh, from your chest wall. Um, you may feel a sharp stabbing or aching pain in your ribs. Um, the area will likely be painful to touch, which my whole body is. And anyone else with the illnesses know that. Um, it often hurts worse when you take a deep breath or move a certain way. And um, they say that you can even get this from repeated coughing and injuries and all this and that and the other. But it says that this should go away in a few days without treatment, even without treatment. Um, but they did give me some muscle relaxer and a prednisone pack to do. But I tell you what, I had to call my rheumatologist, um, and let her know what was going on to see if they wanted me to start the medication or not. Um, but that's the reason why I've been having a severe um, pains in my neck, feeling like I'm being choked, and, um, and it's just from the inflammation around in my chest. And I guess if you, I mean, you guys know, inflammation in your muscles, your heart's a muscle. And if you get inflammation around there, it makes you feel like it's working so hard. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm just upset about the whole situation. Um, but this thing on my neck, I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. And, uh, it's not on this side, only this side. And, um, they wanted me to be referred to, um, oh, what are they called? Cardiologist just to make sure that 
I'm okay, I guess. Uh, somebody. Kimberly something. Um, but if my doctor wants me to go do that, then I will. Um, at that time, I'll do that. I guess her name's... Oh, I take that back. Not Kimberly. It's Karen Clark. Um... I don't really know what she's, what she is, but the doctor told me it's a cardiologist, so I probably should make an appointment with her, um, but if it's a rheumatologist, I'm just gonna deal with my doctor, and, um, told me to go to my primary care also, um, but yeah, I just wanted to touch base, and thank you guys for watching, and subscribe, and give me a thumbs up. Spread the, spread the word, and I'd like to answer any questions that you may have, okay? Um, just send them my way. Until next time, guys, have a good day.